Hey, Mark. Uh, yeah? I was thinking of doing a vlog. Cool. But, but what, what do I talk about? Well, what, what if people hate my topic? Well... And what if I don't have topics? And you're paralyzed. I've seen a few folks who've wanted to get started vlogging, and I've seen them raise the same concern over and over again, which are some of the things that I was talking about in the intro to the video, which has to do with your vlogging topics. So, I'm dedicating this video to doing a couple different things about helping with topics for your vlogs. Why are you vlogging? Remember that vlog is short for video log, and essentially what you're doing is you're making a video log of something. So ask yourself, what do you want to share with the world? It could be as simple as things about you, but you do have to know what you want to talk about. Themes. Having a theme that ties your videos together can really help eliminate some of that paralysis that you may run into when you're trying to figure out what you want to talk about as a topic. An easy thing to ask yourself is, is what am I passionate about? What do I have ideas or thoughts about that I want to share with the world and share with other people? Capture your ideas. So I think probably the most important thing from my perspective is making sure that you capture your ideas. You can actually capture your ideas in a variety of different ways, uh, but the main thing is, is just to make sure that you're actually doing that consistently. So you can actually capture your ideas on pen and paper, or you can capture your ideas electronically by sending yourself an email or doing a voice recording with your phone, something along those lines. Me personally, I prefer pen and paper, but I guess that's just maybe because I'm kind of old school or that's just the way that I like it. It's not that I don't like using my phone. It's just I find that I can actually sort and organize my ideas. Also, when you're capturing your ideas, make sure that you actually capture the entirety of them. So don't stop with just one little thing. If you have a moment or two to flesh that idea out and start thinking about it, uh, feel free to actually flesh it out and, and think through stuff. I'll actually sit there and when I get an idea, I will start to essentially write an outline for myself of what my video is gonna be about. So I'll usually have a topic and then three or four sub bullet points that go with that as those ideas come into my head. Um, if I don't have those ideas at that point, I know that I need to go back and I need to fill those in later. Really, the most important thing is, is that you are capturing in some way, shape, or form so that when you do have to ask yourself, oh, okay, well, what am I going to vlog about? You already know. You've got it in your book. You look it up. Or you just go back and you check your email and, hey, there's your topics that you want to talk about. You don't need to be perfect out of the gate. Most of all, don't feel like you have to be perfect right out of the gate in terms of what you're actually talking about in terms of topics and making sure that you're doing things that are like ooh, perfectly formed and everything like that. You really don't have to do that. It's more important to actually get started and actually start doing the topics and getting used to vlogging and, and talking about things and talking in front of the camera to get yourself more comfortable with it. Use what you got, go with what you know, and get started. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover today, but I welcome any of your suggestions for ideas on vlog topics and how you actually manage your vlog topics. Let me know in the comments down below because I'm always looking for more ideas and I'm sure people would love better ideas as well. Thanks for watching.